Fire at a California mission. Horrific images in the early morning of July 11, 2020. Massive flames poured out of Mission San Gabriel, one of the 21 Spanish missions in California. We have partial collapse of the roof on the Charlie Delta corner. All units partial collapse on Charlie Delta side. Father John Molino is the church's pastor. He was awoken at around 4.20 in the morning, a call from the mission's alarm company. The church's many alarms inside were firing. Security cameras picked up flashing lights throughout the mission church. I received a telephone call from Mission Protection, which is our alarm company. I answered the phone at 4.24 in the morning, and, um, and they told me that the alarms, the fire alarms were going off in the church. I came downstairs, and I entered the church through the sacristy door in the back. I walked through the sanctuary, down the middle aisle, um, looking around. I could smell the smoke, but I didn't see any evidence of fire. I opened the front door to investigate a little bit more, and I looked up, and I saw that the choir loft above me was on fire, and that there was flames going out at the front window. Be careful, the roof is still coming in. Firefighters successfully put out the fire. Copy, thank you for your hard work. We're gonna go ahead and release you. Images of the fire and its aftermath were quickly shared worldwide. Calls came in, shock, concern, and offers of support from Spain, Mexico, our nation's capital, and from throughout California. As the smoke cleared, Mission San Gabriel still stood, its wood Gothic style roof destroyed, but the church's stone walls still structurally sound. Thanks to the steel beams that were added to the mission following the 1988 earthquake retrofit. Inside, high up in the church, some plaster did come free of the walls. A series of ornamental columns are also in need of repair, and the recently refurbished pews will need to be restored once again as the ceiling collapsed from above. Following an intense fire investigation, Mission and Los Angeles Archdiocese officials worked diligently to sew up the altar area. Scaffolding was erected around the historic altar where six statues had stood since 1805. The statues, featuring among them Saint Gabriel, were originally carved by renowned Mexican sculptor Uriarte. He created the statues and altar specifically for Mission San Gabriel in the late 1700s. Meanwhile, across town, Los Angeles area conservator Rosa Lowinger and her team quickly began efforts to remove the smoke damage from the mission statues. The three that had once stood at the top of the altar, including St. Gabriel, suffered the most damage. Another thing that is hard to show in an image is that when you're cleaning something like a layer of soot off of a paint layer, there's a textural feel to the way it comes off. When you're cleaning, the slob with the solvent slides over the soot with one characteristic but if you suddenly start kind of rubbing at the paint and something else is about to come off, you feel a different texture. And that's why I sometimes think that it's important when you're working on these things, even though it's nice to listen to music, the swab is making a sound at the same time. And that sound, as well as the texture, you kind of use all your senses to clean something without removing the original surface. Together, we can restore Mission San Gabriel and preserve this Spanish Catholic landmark for future generations. Removal of debris from within the church is underway. The new roof will follow, the altar and statues will be restored, and the mission will reopen. The hope is for a commemoration mass on September 11, 2021, the day marking 250 years since the founding of historic Mission San Gabriel. The California Missions Foundation has established a fund to help cover the costs of the $1.5 million fire insurance deductible. Please contact the California Missions Foundation or visit our website if you would like to contribute to this meaningful effort.